Hello there everyone, today I will be showing you how to install Git on your Windows. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and we're going to search how to install Git on Windows. Um, then we're going to head over to the GitHub website. And here on the GitHub website you can see um, the options to install for Linux, Mac OS, and for Windows. You can also see installing from source. We're going to click the link to install for Windows. and our download is going to start so we are going to save the file we're going to save it to our local directory and just scrolling through um, the website you can see other um, um, items that you can go, you can read a book, download GUI, get involved, you know you can just play around with the website so we're going to wait for our video, um, our app to download so it's almost done. We have six five seconds left. Seconds left. Great. So our app is downloaded. We're gonna open it. So we're gonna run our file, and um, we're gonna open, and the installation is going to start right now. So I'm um, gonna go next on that next on this as well and basically this is just telling us about adjusting our path environment so um if you want to use git from git bash only um if you're a newbie to git you want to click that and um if you want to um get git from the command line and also use third-party softwares and all that this is the option that's recommended if you have um proper knowledge for git usage um it's not advisable to click the third option unless you have um, a lot of experience using GitHub, so um, we're going to click next on that, and um, we're going to choose the option to use the Open SSL library, which is um, a library which secures all our network connections. So we're going to click that, and we're going to go next on that. And um, here we're just basically looking at um, things regarding. Um, font, text styling, nothing to really bother yourself about. Check out window style, commit Unix style line endings. There isn't really much for you to bother yourself on about this. Just click the first option and you should be good to go. Although clicking either the second or a third option isn't um, a bad idea as well. And here we're just going to determine how our terminal is going to look like. So we can use the mint tty terminal which is the default terminal for git or we can use the windows default console window. So um, it's really dependent on you for whatever you want to use but as the previous one the first option will suffice for you really really well. So we click next and um, this is for default behavior of git pool. Um, you just want to choose the default behavior rebase, only ever fast forward. Um, if you have good knowledge in Git, you're going to know what those are. But um, if you're a beginner in Git, click the first one and um, extra options. Just click next on that as well. You don't really want to bother yourself about that one. Enable file system caching, enable Git credential manager, enable symbolic links. Again, you don't want to bother yourself. And um, concerning this page, configuring experimental options, you want to skip this. There isn't really much to go on about here. This is completely optional if you want to um, enable this option or not. So we're going to just, we're not going to click this. We're just going to install our app straight away. So we're going to click the install button and we're going to go on to the next. So our app is installing right now. It usually takes about five minutes. So um, we're gonna wait for our app to install. And um, once it's done, we're gonna be able to run Git on our Windows device. Um, little um, advice for everyone who wants to use Git. It's really, really recommended for you to learn the various Git techniques. There's a lot of Git techniques when you talk about um, branching, when you talk about pulling, when you talk about pushing, um, there's a lot of techniques that you're going to use as a developer in, 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 in the market 
and、um, a lot of times you're gonna have to work as a team and collaborate with others, and、um, you you will be required to push your work onto GitHub so other、um, developers can download and they can use your work or your code. So. It's really advisable to learn how to use the Git techniques. It's also really advisable to learn how to use Git on the command line.、Um, the website is robust for you to do a lot of functions, but it's it's very much advisable for you to learn how to use Git on the command line. It's gonna make your work so much more easier. So our Git has finished downloading, and we've come to the end of this tutorial. This is just the Git release notes.、Um, if you want to find out more information concerning Git,、um, please check the links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.